Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable. And you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's a renewing system, it's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today if you're dealing with a chronic, long-term, progressive, degenerative disease or have a loved one who's dealing with one. We can help you. We want to change your life today. Give us a call, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. I'll show you how simple and easy it can be to begin the reversal process. That's the good news, folks. That's the bright side. No matter how sick and broken down we are, we can begin to turn it around immediately. The body can turn on a dime, but we got to turn on a dime as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, or skin health products, if you have questions about our true skin health products, 844-236-6010 is our number today. Of course, if you have a success story and uh, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised in the program, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, please head over to truthtreatments.com. That's plural, truthtreatments.com. And we also have a skin health blog up at truthtreatments.com. You can check that, check that out as well. Okay. I want to say a few more things about progesterone, a relaxing hormone that is, in essence, the partner to estrogen, which is more of a stimulating growth substance. Progesterone antagonizes or blocks the effects of estrogen. Yesterday, we left off talking about an estrogenic health issue called PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's an estrogen issue, and it's an insulin issue. So if you're dealing with PCOS, you want to treat yourself like you're a diabetic, all the things we talk about for keeping your blood sugar stable. That is more protein, fiber, water, your sweeties, chromium, vanadium, B-complex, which you'll get in the Beyond Tangy, tangerine, selenium, sulfur. There's zillions of different ways that you can stabilize our, uh, your blood sugar, of course, most importantly, by not eating foods that break down into sugar. Estrogen is also important when it comes to PCOS, and that's where progesterone comes in. Progesterone antagonizes the effects of estrogen and estrogen dominance. Estrogen uh, estrogen dominance is when we make lots, lots more estrogen than we do progesterone due to our particular body chemistry, levels of body fat. Remember, estrogen is made in body fat, so the more body fat we carry, the more estrogenic we are going to be, the more susceptible we will be to estrogenic illnesses. That's so important. If, there, if, you, if you need a, a, an additional reason to lose body fat, it's this whole estrogen link. The more body fat we carry, men and women, the more estrogenic we will be. For men, that means more feminizing. That means uh, increased likelihood for prostate and colon cancer. For women, that means all kinds of havoc. All kinds of health havoc are associated with excess body fat and excess estrogen. Food choices, digestive issues, those can all affect estrogen dominance. Dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria can be a problem. 
and then this whole estrogen dominance issue can be exacerbated by exposure to hormone replacement therapy. Many other medications have estrogenic properties. Plastics, water has uh, estrogenic components in it, unfortunately. Food, certainly phytoestrogens may be, may be able to do it, like from soy. The net result is called estrogen dominance. It can lead to a whole slew of health issues, and that includes cancer, that includes depression and anxiety, that includes autoimmune disease, and it includes polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. So balancing out estrogen or mitigating the effects of excess estrogen is an important, critical, actually, health strategy. And there's lots of ways to do it. Progesterone balances out estrogen. Selenium balances out estrogen. Vitamin E can have some estrogen balancing effects. Yesterday, we left off talking about another really interesting nutrient that can help modulate the toxicity associated with excess estrogen or balance it out. It's called C. L-A, conjugated linoleic acid, C-L-A. It's a special kind of fat. It's very similar to omega-6 fatty acids. It's not an essential fat, but it has a lot of similarities with an essential fat, with omega-6 essential fats. Yesterday, we talked about how you can use C-L-A for helping the body counteract or balance out the effects of estrogen. C-L-A has an ability to block estrogen signaling. It can be helpful for folks dealing with PCOS or any estrogenic health issues. And it's got anti-cancer properties as well, anti-breast cancer, colon cancer, anti-prostate cancer. It may help, it may help you if you're dealing with an autoimmune disease. And its most important claim to fame is that it can help you lose weight. So CLA is like an omega-6, but it's got a little tweak that gives it a little slightly different electrical configuration. That means it's got some unique health benefits that you don't necessarily get from your omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6s are important. You're not going to substitute. You need your omega-6s, but if you want to throw one more thing in, especially into your supplement program, especially if you're dealing with estrogenic issues, you might want to consider CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. It's anti-inflammatory. And actually, CLA can be converted into omega-3 fats, which are important for the brain, important for the eyes, important for the nervous system, and which have their own anti-inflammatory properties. CLA helps support the health of the immune system. It's very important for the circulatory system. It can lower blood cholesterol. It can lower blood fats. It can reduce the likelihood of atherosclerosis. There's a lot of benefits here, right? If you're dealing with PCOS, and if for just folks who have diabetes, it, CLA improves insulin potency. It helps lower blood sugar. And if you are on metformin or glucophage or whatever, some anti-diabetic medication, and PCOS, PCOS patients in particular are given anti-diabetic medications, CLA can actually make for a lower dose of your anti-diabetic medication. So if you're a diabetic out there, even if you don't have PCOS and you're just a diabetic and you're on some kind of anti-diabetic drug, get some CLA and you'll at least be able to lower your dose or maybe even get off your dose for that matter. Nobody really absolutely needs to be on a diabetic medication. Type 1 diabetes is a little bit different, but if you have type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance diabetes, insulin resistance uh, uh, metabolic uh, syndrome and insulin resistance diabetes, that is if your, di your insulin just isn't working as well as it should. Type 1 diabetes is when your insulin making cells are killed off via autoimmune mechanisms. Type 2 diabetes, adult onset is what they used to call it, they, now they call it type 2 because everybody's getting it. That takes time. It used to take a lifetime. Now it takes 10 years because there's 10 year olds who have it. So if you have type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance diabetes, that's when, that's when they give you the drugs. If you're on a type 2 diabetes drug, if you have insulin resistance issues, if you have metabolic syndrome, please understand it is simple. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough because for some reason, there's this meme, this belief system, there's this idea that type 2 diabetes is something permanent. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is reversible. And this is so tragic because it's like the the second leading cause of death or I'm sorry the fourth leading cause of death after drugs by the way diabetes is a leading cause of death not after drugs after medical errors I'm sorry after medical errors I just read an article about this the third leading cause of death is medical mistakes not that not that I want to beat up on doctors by the way but that's just part of how we part of our our medical model anyway if you have diabetes it's a terrible terrible thing but it is reversible
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or anything we're talking about today, diabetes, CLA, PCOS, estrogen dominance. If you've read something or heard something and you want clarification, we can help you. And, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number on the Bright Side. You can purchase any of the longevity products you hear recommended on the program or join the Bright Side Ben team by calling 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you're in the Roseville, Minnesota area, I'll be at... The Roseville Skating Center, 2661 Civic Center Drive, 55113 in Roseville, Minnesota. This Thursday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. We'll be talking for two hours or so. Registration's at 6.30. Guests are free. Distributors, longevity distributors are five bucks at the door. And there'll be lots of prizes and giveaways. And uh, I'll be talking about some of the basic ideas that I don't get to talk about in this program a lot. Of what I call the Bright Side Philosophy. That's this Thursday, May 5th at the Roseville Skating Center in Roseville, Minnesota, zip 55113. Uh, 2661 Civic Center Drive, zip 55113. Okay, so uh, we're talking CLA and diabetes, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. If you're dealing with polycystic ovarian syndrome, it is a estrogen and insulin issue. Balancing out estrogen is strategy number one. CLA can help you do that. And of course, with CLA, you'll get lots of other benefits, including helping your insulin, helping your sugar. If you're diabetic, please understand there's lots and lots and lots of strategies. It's not a drug issue. It should never, ever be a drug issue. Type 1 diabetes accepted, although even type 1 diabetes, do you know that they used used to say that the beta cells, the cells that make insulin, they're just gone forever. Today, we know that they're not necessarily nothing. The body's a regenerating system. Everything regenerates. But by far and away, the most important, uh, um, co- the important form of diabetes is type 2 diabetes. It is tragic beyond belief. One out of three Americans. You know, 50% of Californians have either prediabetes or diabetes. 50%. And soon it'll be 50% around the country. It's now 30 to 40%. 33 to 40% of Americans have diabetes. It's purely lifestyle, friends. And it's so tragic. It's heartbreaking. And it, by the way, it's not like diabetes is a noun. It's a verb. It occurs in response to sugar, whether that sugar comes from food, usually, or whether that sugar comes from stress. Yes, sugar, blood sugar will go up when we're under stress. That's one of the ways the body handles stress. So between elevated cortisol and stress and the foods we're eating, you got the reason why we have diabetes. By the way, that's the first point in the triangle and the third point on the triangle, and thus the importance of the triangle of disease. So CLA is important for estrogen. CLA is important for blood sugar. If you're on anti-diabetic meds, it will help you lower your dose. It can be important for the heart, blood cholesterol, blood fats, immune system, atherosclerosis from an article uh, in the Journal of Immunology. CLA reduces the effects of inflammatory cells associated with plaques in the arteries. And, at least in animal models, it's associated with regression of atherosclerosis. It goes backwards. CLA is also anti-estrogen. According to a 2006 article in the journal Cancer Research, CLA's estrogenic effects allow it to be used as a chemopreventive and chemotherapeutic. That means it fights cancer and prevents cancer of the breasts by increasing the activity of suppressor genes. Yes, we have tumor suppressors built into our genetics, and CLA upregulates them, turns them on. If you want to start using CLA to improve your PCOS symptoms or as an anti-cancer, a cancer preventive, it's very simple. Eat butter, eat cheese, eat meat, organ meats especially, from grass-fed animals. That's the key because CLA is in the grass. You're not going to get it in grain-fed, uh, grain-fed animal products. You need grass-fed. Grass-fed is always going to be better, although I have friends who tell me that it doesn't taste as good. I don't necessarily, well, I, I'm not an expert on it, but... I know it's a lot better for you, grass-fed, and one of the reasons it's better for you is because of its CLA. You can get CLA on the Internet. You can get it at health food stores. You can get a bottle of 90 capsules for $15, 90 800-milligram capsules for $15. Take a couple grams a day. You're not going to overdose on it, and your PCOS, if you're dealing with PCOS, you'll notice some significant results. I've seen significant results in less than two months on PCOS. Of course, you'll get all the other benefits as well. 
If you have PCOS, it's not just in estrogen, it's also insulin. And between estrogen and insulin, guess what? You got your first two points in the triangle of disease. Estrogen because of the whole connection to the food, to foods and the digestive system. Insulin is our second point on, the, uh, on our triangle of disease. In my opinion, if you got PCOS, you want to be focusing on your insulin as well as your estrogen. And all the symptoms of PCOS are really basically the same as type 2 diabetes. Weight gain, oily skin, blemishes. All of these are, are, are uh, the body's response to excess insulin, and you could, you could have diabetes as well as PCOS. Cal caloric restriction is also helpful for PCOS patients. Intermittent fasting is also helpful for PCS, PCOS patients. The ketogenic diet is helpful for PCOS patients. And guess what? The ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting and caloric restriction are all helpful for diabetes too. PCOS equals diabetes. That's how you want to look at it. Do a Swero V cleanse. If you do a Swero V cleanse and you have PCOS, I am guaranteeing you, you will notice a dramatic, not just a minor, but a dramatic reduction in your PCOS symptoms in a matter of days. Certainly while you're doing your Swero V cleanse. Now you can't go back, you know, don't go back to your old way of eating. You're going to lose the benefits. But while you're on a Swero V cleanse, you will absolutely 100% notice a reduction of your PCOS symptoms. The Swero V cleanse is a half a bottle of Swero V every hour. It's great to do anyway. Just great to do even if you're healthy. You can do a veggie juice fast. That will also make a dramatic impact or have a dramatic impact on, on PCOS symptoms. And of course, the BTT and the B vitamins, superstars for insulin, very important, can be very helpful for PCOS, very, very important for blood sugar control. Take extra vitamin B5, pantothenic acid. Vitamin B5 is really interesting. It's involved in how we make, fa how we process fats, how we turn fats into useful chemicals, particularly steroid hormones. So B5 is the one B vitamin that works primarily with, in large part anyway, with the fat system. The B vitamins are water soluble and they work with electrical energy, but it turns out that vitamin B5 kind of bridges the electrical side or the watery side of the body with the fatty side of the body. And there's some fascinating chemistry how, that, how it does it. But you can think of it like a bridge between water soluble and fat soluble pantothenic acid. If you're dealing with oily skin, pantothenic acid, vitamin B5 can be stupendous. For women who have, are going through menopause, it can be helpful. And of course, for PCOS and for blood sugar. Vitamin B6 is another important hormone vitamin. Vitamin B6 helps us break down foods and get the, the building blocks, the components, the amino acids, for example, out of the proteins. To break up a protein and, and turn it into amino acids depends uh, par at least partially on vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 allows us to access nutri nutrition from foods, nutritional value from foods. This is why you want to sip on your BTT, by the way, with your meals. Sipping on your BTT with, you, with your meals is going to help you access the nutrients from your food much more effectively. So if you're subsisting on junk food, which doesn't have nutrients in it, that's the definition of junk food. Junk food's got calories but no nutrition, calories but no nutrients. If you do your BTT with your junk food, that will mitigate at least or, or reduce some of the, the nasty nutritional depletion, nutritional depleting effects of your junk food. Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. We'll come back with more good health information in your phone calls right after this on The Bright Side. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're in the Roseville, Minnesota or Minneapolis, Minnesota area, I'll be at the Roseville Skating Rink tomorrow night. 2661 Civic Center Drive, Roseville, Minnesota, 55113, starting at 7 o'clock. Registration's at 6.30. And uh, let's see. It's free for guests. The longevity distributors pay $5 at the door. We'll talk about the bright side philosophy. And if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, we'll show you how easy how easy it is to begin the reversal process. I'm not, I'm not speaking off the top of my head here, folks. I've seen this with my own eyes. We have this, this hypn we're in this hypnotic trance, this meme that's been, we're conditioned by from birth to believe that doctors and the medical model will save us from our degenerative disease crisis. There is, the truth could not be further off from this silly idea that we need to be medicalized back to health. The truth could not be further away from that idea. The truth is, is we cannot be medical, literally cannot be medicalized to health. And 
We don't need to be because we can do it ourselves. Yesterday, an article yet again came out. Uh, this is from uh, I'm not sure where this is from. Johns Hopkins, Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in Baltimore. Medical error is the third largest cause of death in the United States, published in the British Medical Journal. And this is again. Every, we see this every year. Medical error, third leading cause of death. And it's not the doctor's fault. You can't be medicalized back to health, and medicine is fraught with dangers. Because what we're doing is we're monkeying around where we shouldn't be monkeying around. We're manipulating artificially the body's pristine and perfect divine biochemistry and mechanical chemistry. And so, of course, you're going to run into problems. It's the, it's the model. It's not the individual doctors. It's not the individual people who, for the most part, and I know a lot of them, are good people. They want to help. They want to make a difference. But they're just as deluded as their patients. That this idea that we can be medicalized back to health. Now, somebody out there knows the truth. Somebody in the pharmacomedical world knows the truth, and they're doing it anyway. Now, those people, they're not nice at all. But the ones the, uh, who are just participating, they mean well. It's not their fault. It's the model's fault. It's a flawed model, and we don't need it. Unless you get hit by a bus, you don't need a doctor. Unless you need, if something explodes or breaks, that's when we need doctors. But not for these chronic, long-term lifestyle issues. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll finish up with progesterone tomorrow. And then we'll move on to the third super powerful youth and vitality and fertility and creativity and all the good things we love about being a live hormone. DHEA, all of this has to do with the ketogenic diet. We're still talking about the ketogenic diet. I got lots more I want to say about it. After we uh, finish up with DHEA, we'll still we'll continue talking about ketogenesis and supplements that you can use to enhance the ketogenic diet and that you should use with the ketogenic diet. And that'll be in the coming days on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Dave in Austin. Good morning. What's up, Dave? Welcome to the Bright Side. Oh, thank you, Ben. Good morning to you. Uh, yeah, this is uh, David. I'm talked to you several times. You, uh, Are you Graves, Dave? Graves disease. Graves, you Dave. Me, you returned from the grave, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but good to, uh, thank good to you, talk to you. Uh, I, re- I really appreciate it. So anyway, I, you know, I listen every day, and I actually do just about everything you recommend. Okay. And I have a couple of questions um, regarding uh, the pregnenolone. Okay. And really, the the dosages that I should be taking, and for how long? Because I've seen, I think you recommended taking 100 milligrams. I've seen others recommend 15. Okay. And um, I'm really trying to understand, you know, how much to take, how well, long what, I should. Take how long it. have you been? How long have you been taking? Have you, you're, I'm assuming you're taking it now, right? I, I'm taking it now, and I've been taking it. I've been taking about 45 milligrams a day, and I got to be honest with you, it's, it's helped tremendously. You know, okay. I do have various symptoms of great, basically anxiety. I still have a lot of anxiety. I do the deep breathing and all that stuff. It helps. Are you I noticing cal- sleeping at night. Are you noticing a calm yeah, effect? I, no- I am. I take it in the evening and I notice I, I sleep really well. Um, awesome. And I, yeah, and it's, I've had great results, but I just want to make sure I'm taking, you know, a good let, me you, let me tell you a couple things, Dave. First of all, the fact that you're getting these kinds of results means you need it, okay? And that's very understandable okay. considering that you have the Graves. Graves disease for the listeners is when you're just amped up. Your thyroid is, is amped up. It's hyperthyroidism. but it's, They say it's based on autoimmunity, but that doesn't really matter. The fact is you're just jacked up, sweaty and fevery and hot and uh, oily skin and anxiety and insomnia and all that, right? Loose stools, probably. And, and, and lots of estrogen, you know. What's that? I, it, it, yeah, it caused, me to have, it caused me to have lots of estrogen in my body as well. Loss of so, estrogen. Um, Did you say? You said loss, lots right? Of, lots. Are you finding so that you're estrogenic? I, I, that I wouldn't have assumed. Are you sure that's the case? Well, yeah. I mean, I was actually doing like man boobs when I had brain disease. Ah, interesting. And, you know, interesting. That that might have yeah, to do with, yeah, so. that might have to do more with the with the more potent breakdown products of estrogen following your digestive issues. So it's not so much that it's producing estrogen as it's causing you not to process estrogen correctly. Nonetheless, you're going to notice that the man boobs start to improve. By the way, okay, if they haven't already. Not the dog. 
Uh, uh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank awesome. <laughs> good, de- good deal. Okay. You don't want man boobs. Okay. Here's the deal. You want your, the fact that you're uh, getting such good results means you need the stuff. So keep, keep on it. You're going to be on, if it was me, I'd be on it the rest of my life. The dose is going to be something you have to play with and you want to do something called functional dosing. Now, functional dosing is a way that you want to dose things that you're not really sure how much you're going to take. Things like probiotics, digestive enzymes, um, uh, the pregnenolone or DHEA. And by functional dosing, I mean you take as much as you, you, keep, the, you keep increasing the dose until you don't notice that you're, it's making much of a difference. Does that? So you take, like, say you take 45 milligrams. Okay, you're feeling great. You're, you're sleeping good. You got all the good benefits of it. Take 50 milligrams. Oh, wow, I'm noticing a little better. I'm noticing that I get even better benefits. Okay, take 55 milligrams. Well, I didn't get so much of a, I didn't really make much of a difference. So then you'll know you have to stick at 50 milligrams. Does that make sense? That's called functional dosing. So you want to dose till you're not getting any longer, not to, till you're not getting any more benefits by increasing the dose and stay at that dose. With pregnenolone, it's so gentle and benign. I usually tell people 100 milligrams, but yeah, 45 or 50 milligrams is, you could start off there. It's not going to hurt you to do 100 milligrams. Do a, this is what I would do, Dave. Do 100 milligrams, see what happens. You might notice that you get a little, you're, you're more tired than you want, or you might notice that you get too much relaxation back down. You know what I'm saying? And then you back down to, say, 70 milligrams. Oh, wow. I, I, you know, I, I still have just a touch of too much relaxation. I'm going to back down to 60 milligrams. Oh, wow, that's perfect. Then you'll know 60 milligrams where you need to be. Follow me? Makes, makes total sense. Yeah, everybody's bodies are different. So everybody's body's exactly different. And, every, and with pregnenolone, because it's being converted into stress hormone and sex hormones, ultimately, depending on your life, depending on what's going on in your life, you're going to, make, you're going to be burning through more pregnenolone than, uh, at some times than others. So you're just going to have to play around with it. Just go, for the, go by the good results. But you're, Dave, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. You're a uh, wonderful well, success story. I, I got it. I got to say the the VTT has been incredible. Um, I got I've turned a lot of people onto it. They all drink it. Um, it's just, it's just incredible stuff. And I can't find any anything else like it out there. So agreed. I, I agreed. really contribute that to to a lot of it. You know what? Don't forget talk some more maybe about in the future maybe some, about wheatgrass. Oh, yeah. I love wheatgrass. I love wheatgrass. Thank you. I appreciate that. And don't forget to give yourself credit because you're doing the you're doing the work, buddy. Thank you so much, Dave. Take care, man. Have a beautiful day. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. From JAMA Internal Medicine, study links some positive effects of calorie, rest- of calorie restriction to non-obese adults. Hmm. So you restrict your calories, and even if you're not obese, you still get benefits. Surprise, surprise. Well, if you've been listening to the bright side, you know that. Caloric restriction is one of the most powerful strategies that you can ever employ for longevity, and it's cheap. In fact, you'll make money because you'll be eating less calories and you'll have more money. Calorie restriction can help you if you've got blood sugar problems. Calorie restriction can get you more energy. Calorie restriction can help you if you're a bodybuilder or a weightlifter. And according to this article from uh, from JAMA Internal Medicine and uh, research published from the Biomedical Research Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, calorie restriction can have aspects on quality of life, including libido, stamina, mood, and irritability. So you don't have to, and not to mention, uh, increased lifespan. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Carl? Good morning, Ben. Enjoying a beautiful day outdoors with my kitty cat, Pepperina. Good morning. Doing some deep breathing. Okay. (laughs) Hey, did you get a chance to check out that video on YouTube about the lady who eats cat fur? Did, did you tell me about that? Somebody told me about yeah, that. I oh, yeah, that was you. To check that out. It's, yes. it's kind of bizarre, but the cat looks exactly like I don't mine. know why she does that, although there are all kinds of weird eating, eating yeah, things that can happen. Called, I think it's really the pica, or maybe there's some... It's a, it's of, a form uh, of pica, yes. Yes, yes. but usually pica's dirt. I don't know. There must yeah. be something in cat fur. There must be yeah, something in cat fur. All right. Yeah, so she's getting hairballs. Touring. <laughs> anyway, here, here's on to the question of the day. Yes. This bizarre, but something that people are not talking too much about. But in the late 80s, early 1990s, long before there was Walmarts, they were still Kmarts, and they were still thriving at the time. They're still around today, but they were more prevalent back in those days and more successful. During the winter months, or prior to the winter months, I used to stock up on uh, sweat clothes. 
all kinds of different nice colored sweatpants and things like that. Nice, They're on sale real cheap. But I noticed after a few years of wearing them during the winter months when it was cold, I noticed splotches of hair missing on my legs. Hmm. Now, over the years, I, you know, I occasionally wear used pairs of sweatpants and different types of sweatpants, not the cheap ones anymore. But now I've discovered over the past couple of years, I have no hair on my legs at all. That's, I, I can't help you there, guy. So I do know that that's like the fa- a fad, though, these days. It's supposed to look good, so you're, maybe you're in good shape. I can't help I, I you I don't know, <laughs> but no, I think what's going on is that they're putting chemical, the cured chemicals that they're putting to prevent... In the sweatpants? In the sweatpants. You know, that's not... estrogen mimickers. Well, estrogen mimickers would make you hairier, probably, but uh, actually, you know what, on the legs, let me think about how that would work. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe it, maybe it would make you more feminized. That's it's not bizarre. a bad. I don't know. You know what? That's not a. That's me. not a bad point. That's yeah, not I don't a bad know if point. Anybody else has had that condition, where yeah. it seems like an alopecia type of it could be. on the legs. Estrogen is I'm everywhere. Hairless on my legs now. Carl, estrogen is everywhere. It would not surprise me if that was the case. Thanks yeah, for point, pointing that out, though. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, man. Got to move. Thanks, Carl. All right, buddy. Take care. All right. Let's go to Dave in Connecticut. Welcome to the bright side, Dave. How you doing, Ben? Doing good, buddy. What's going on? Good. No, I just got a quick question about um, about how it, about phytate. How how concerned uh-huh. should we be about them? And not the really. Other- Much ado about nothing. I mean, probably not a good idea to do your do your minerals with fibery food with phytate containing fibers, flax seeds, and such. But it's not that significant. And if you're really concerned about it, you can sprout. You know, you can germinate. You can. You could. There's things that you could do to just to break up phytates. There's probiotics in the gut can do it. You know, it, it's not that big a deal. And also, phytates, and we talked about this a few weeks ago. Phytates are actually anti-cancer, and they're antioxidants. Phytic acid is, and it's a source of phosphorus, and it's a chelating agent. So there's a lot of benefits to phytates. But the the problem with the phytates is when you take them too close to minerals. But you know how significant it is. How much minerals you lose? I, I don't know that. I don't know that I would worry about it too much personally. Although it, it's true that they will tie up minerals a little bit. So if you want to do it absolutely correctly, keep your minerals separate from your phytate-containing fibers. Okay. Does that help? Alrighty. And then okay. yeah. And then another, uh, just the second part of that question was um, <clears throat> um, vitamins and minerals that are antagonistic to each other. Yeah. That, that happens occasionally, but not that much either. You know, what you're talking about, Dave, is if you're, if you're some, for somebody, and this, I'm glad you brought this up, because sometimes we think, when it comes to health and nutrition, that you gotta be absolutely everything. You know, like, yes, it's true that vitamin C and iron go together, and, and phytic acid and, and minerals can go together, can bind up each other, can tie up each other, you'll lose a little bit of the minerals, but for, the most, for most of us who are dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, or we just want to increase our lifespan, or just want to get, get better, you don't need to worry about all that, all that minuscule stuff. You know what I'm saying? You need the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. You want to keep your sugar down. You want to make sure your digestive system is operating pristinely. You want to make sure that you're relaxing the body and oxygenating and, you know, all the stuff that we talk about in the triangle of disease. Whether you take your phytic acid with your selenium or whether you take your vitamin C with your iron, that's so minuscule. That, that's so minor compared to what we're talking about here. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to make a difference yeah, in your yeah. cancer either way if you take your phytic acid with your selenium. Okay, or you take your vitamin C with your iron. It's not going to really affect your health significantly. You're not going to notice the difference. What I'm talking about here is the basic ideas. It's so complicated, Dave. We don't want to complicate it any more than we need to. Yeah, right. Right? It's overwhelming. We don't want to complicate it any more than we need to, which is why these simple ideas, the triangle of disease, work on your digestive system, stabilize your blood sugar system, relax the body, make sure you're using a nutritional supplement program that has all the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Keep your calories down. You know, all of these basic ideas that we talk about that's where you want to focus once you've 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 done every single thing that there is to do in a simple basic kind of way then you can start to worry about mixing and matching kind of thing but uh, until you until you get to that point and and hardly i don't know anybody i'm not at that point i don't know anybody who's at that point it it really becomes just uh, you know uh, uh, just a, a mental exercise it's not as important in a practical sense okay that's my opinion yeah great okay dave great thank you all right, man. Take care. Thanks for calling, buddy. Okay, Kyle in Oklahoma. What's going on, man? Welcome to the bright side. Hi. I, I, I've just got a question about my wife. We're trying to conceive, and she's been having a lot of migraines. Okay. You're not going to be able to conceive. 
I'm it's going to be what? difficult to conceive with migraine headaches. Migraine headaches activate the body's survival response. And they themselves are a result of an of a activation of a survival response, kind of a circle. The body goes into stress mode from an allergic reaction, typically, or sometimes it can, or, uh, uh, some kind of digestive issue, or estrogen. Those are the two big reasons. Foods and estrogen. Those are the two big reasons for migraine headaches. Now, both of those will activate a stress response, and you won't get pregnant, or they will actually cause a stress response, and they will cause a stress response, and you won't get pregnant. So she's got to cut the circle. And that, number one, what you want to do is you want to look for food triggers, okay? That's what I would be doing. Are you with me, Kyle? All right. All right. Yep. So do a, do a food diary, and then uh, note when the migraines happen what she ate, and see if you can form a relationship between specific foods and the migraines. Secondly, along with the food diary, do a menstrual cycle diary, where she plots her menstrual cycle and see if she associates the migraines with somewhere in her menstrual cycle. That'll give you a clue to the estrogen component. Okay. If she notices All the right. migraines happen when she's surging and her estrogen in the middle of her menstrual cycle, you know you got an estrogen issue. Now, if, she's, if it's not, there's no relationship between her menstrual cycle and estrogen. She could still have an estrogen issue, and that could have to do with the digestive system and other things. So number one, f eliminate, food, eliminate problem foods. Number two, work on digestive health, particularly when it comes to probiotics, the ultimate nightly essence, nine a day, fermented foods, uh, caloric restriction, all the things we talk about here, vegetable juices, etc. And then um, I would be using some progesterone cream also or have her get on some pregnenolone as well. Pregnenolone, maybe 100 milligrams, 50 to 100 milligrams a day. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna balance out estrogen and you're gonna work on the uh, digestive component. Other nutrients that can help have, uh, have a uh, estrogen balancing effect, selenium, maybe 400 micrograms a day, uh, vitamin E, 400 international units a day. Of course, the mighty 90 essential nutrients, that goes without saying. Take extra magnesium, maybe 2,000 milligrams a day, and extra B vitamins in addition to the B complex, make sure she's getting some extra B vitamins vitamins somewhere, especially vitamin B2, which is linked to issues with migraines. So uh, foods and foods and estrogen, those are the two main things to look at. Okay, Kyle? All right, because you have, uh, uh, basically, whenever she was 18, she started getting real bad migraines, and then yeah. uh, they put her on birth control. Well, and that's because she literally hasn't, yeah, and she literally hasn't had any migraines up until... She quit okay. Her well, you know, I got some. Cool. A hormone or I'm out of time here, but yeah, it does sound like it's a hormonal issue. Uh, if you want to call back tomorrow, I, I, we can talk to you a little bit more. I only got about 20 seconds though. Thanks for your call, Kyle. Appreciate All right. it. All right, if you're in Roseville, Minnesota, I'll be at the Roseville Skating Center, 2661 Civic Center Drive tomorrow, 7 p.m. Check out our skin health products at uh, TruthTreatments.com, and that's it. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.